coming up right now, and you're going to love the young man from South Africa. His name is Courage Shabalala. Shabalala, as he steps into the ring, had 76 amateur fights, won them all, all with first-round knockouts. There's been only one fighter in all of his boxing ever to go into a second round. That was in his second pro fight. He's won them all by knockout, and here he steps in against Marcus Gonzalez. Shelly Mann is standing by for the introduction officially of our fighters as he presents the fight four here on the Heavyweight Explosion. Boxing, let us first introduce to you coming out of the blue corner. Your referee is David Avalos. Wearing red trunks with a white stripe, weighing in at 224 pounds. His professional boxing record, two wins and three defeats from Nueva Laredo, Mexico, Marcus Gonzalez. His opponent, wearing black trunks with a yellow stripe, coming out of the red corner, weighs in at 225 pounds. His professional boxing record, five wins and no defeats, all by knockout from Johannesburg, South Africa. Here is Courage Shabalala. It's great to have David Avalos as the third man in the ring and the fact that Gonzalez does not speak any English at all. Shabalala, of course, speaks English very nicely, thank you. And David Avalos will be the man that will be in between them for four rounds if it goes that long. Shabalala, again, 76 amateur fights, all in the first round knockout, Bob. That was one of the things I said, are you sure? And everybody assured us that was the case. And this young man, with no limits, as his nickname comes right out. And right off the bat, Gonzalez feels why nobody but one man has lasted into the second round. Gonzalez seems to have already gotten hit in the eye by that first uh, sweeping hook of courage, but uh, he's got it. He's obviously got impressive physical tools here, Sam. He's strong, quick, beautifully proportioned for a heavyweight. I had a real good conversation with Nick Duran, his tra trainer and manager prior to the fight, and uh, it was an interesting story how he met the young man, Courage. He, he was uh, working as a security guard in the store, and Nick who a has a gym with about 46 professional fighters in, in and around uh, at the carousel in South Africa, spotted him and uh, told him to come down to the gym. <laughs> He's only been fighting for two and a half years. It's amazing. Started fighting right at the latter part of 1991, right into 1992. He, of course, has won numerous championships there in South Africa. The Transvaal Game Heavyweight Championship won that a couple of years. And down goes Gonzalez. And the big guy, again, has put an opponent down in the first that may not make it through round number one. And he does not, as the referee will stop the fight. And Marcus Gonzalez again has felt what so many, with the exception of one, have done, feel the sting of courage, Shabalala of South Africa. No limits, pull no punches today as he lets it all hang out early in round one as Gonzalez went down heavily. There's a good look at Nick Durant, who's working with him in his corner. And again, they came here only a Monday. They wanted to be here a little earlier to kind of get accustomed to the heat. Didn't take him long to build up the heat quickly. Barely broke a sweat to this 19-year-old once again from Johannesburg, South Africa. Gonzalez again with the people checking, making sure he answers all the questions correctly here. And let's take a look at it again and see which one of the punches officially did it. Shabalala again with the big knockout in round number one. Again, Gonzalez throwing the left hook, trying to come with it with a couple of combinations. And there it was, a crisp left hook. And it puts Gonzalez down for the stop of the fight. Let's go now to Shelly Van for the time. And your winner, official time of one minute and 26 seconds of the first round by a knockout out of the red corner, Courage Shabalala. Shabalala is the young man's name out of Johannesburg, and write that one down for those of you that follow our heavyweight explosion 
And on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network, you may be seeing the blossoming of a brand new talent. Again, he comes up with now his sixth knockout in a row as a pro. And again, continues to put him down with regularity going 76 in a row as an amateur. Let's go upstairs with Bob Spagnola. Bob? I'm up here in the ring with Courage and his trainer manager, Nick Durant. Congratulations, fellas. How you feel? Welcome to the United States. Thanks, eh? I feel good. It's all right. I like the States, man. No, it's a good performance for you. It's a lot of pressure, you know, the knockout thing, everything in the first round. And obviously, you seemed like you were starting slow and going to take your time a little bit. That won't go on forever, and you'll be prepared to carry on, won't you? Yeah, sure. I mean, I thought he was going to go, you know, in about three, four rounds, you know. Yeah. But then he started getting careless. Yeah, you, you hit him with a beautiful left hook. It's a, if we had a monitor, we could show you. You just stepped over and placed it right on the button. Yeah, thanks, say hey, thanks. Just happens. I don't go in, come in the ring like to knock a person in the first round, you know? But it just happens, man. If it comes, it comes. If it comes, it comes, you know what I'm saying? But you're prepared for the distance. Yeah, and people in South Africa must know I'm coming home, man. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure they do know. Uh, Nick told me an interesting story on how you guys met at first. You didn't have a l uh, long amateur career, but you got a lot done in the, in the little time you spent. Yeah, I mean, you know, like in the heavyweight, you must give a guy time to mature, you know. This is only the beginning. As time goes on, we'll be there for bigger things, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, you're in good hands. Congratulations, both of you. And Thank again, you welcome you. to the state. We'll see you again. Back to you, Sam. Thank you very much. We alluded to the fact that, again, with just one left-hand punch, he wins by another knockdown and a knockout. 82 consecutive wins and 82 consecutive wins by knockout. And 81 of those have all been in the first round. The only man to make it to the second round was a year ago this past June. Steve Jansky in South Africa went into the second round. That was after Shabalala had knocked him down four times in the first round.